welcome back so today i'm going to show you how to create an iphone reveal using element 3d artifix and maya and i will give you the 3d model and the environment that i have built for free you can go to 3dtug.com channel please subscribe give us a thumbs up and comment your thoughts also check out my previous video how to create a, that ultra realistic look i have a full tutorial on that and also check out our website pdtalk.com i'm so excited let's begin and composition and I have made it full full HD and, and then you can adjust the duration then I'm gonna create a solid to add element 3d plugin create your create solid and then right click on effects and then add element 3d and then go to scene setup now we are inside the element 3d and we're gonna import our 3d model click on import double click on your obj file right here we have our 3d model click on normalize size and when you click the drop down and you you can see many materials so those materials for the various sections of the model so we have full control all right i'm gonna repeat for the all all other sections so i'm gonna make it fast forward so I'm gonna hit OK alright here we have the iPhone so for the animation if you are doing in 3d that's alright so I'm gonna add a camera and a background for the background I'm gonna add a gradient and adjust some colors to match the situation then i'm gonna import the environment so click on import and select the obj file here you have the tunnel so i'm gonna scale it up and play around the size and match the scene and as you like Now I'm gonna add materials for the tunnel. So, for as you can see the blue parts, I'm gonna use them as lights. So they're gonna emit more. And as the the other part, it will be something like a metal. as another main part select your model go to the reflection make it as spherical so it will react to the environment things so reflection will be react as the as it is as there so that's another realistic tip i'm gonna mention again so you can do add various colors and play with materials so for now i'm gonna add it at the lights as white also the tunnel same setting as the phone make the mode as spherical click on this icon and it will drive your camera and you can rotate around your object more smoothly so now i'm gonna give some camera movements so set up your frame as you want go to the camera click on point of interest and the position start do the second angle so you will have a camera movement use the after effects uh, views like side view left and right and all those views so you can you will have more control controlling the uh, camera inside the after effects 
and you you can use the curl to smooth your part so it will give you more cinematic look So I'm gonna add some more camera movements, same thing as I repeated earlier. So for the next movements I'm gonna make it fast forward. Alright, for the final settlement, I'm gonna make it as the camera drive through the tunnel and phone appear. So, you can try various ways, like something rotating while camera moving and more things, more, more movements that will be make it more look cinematic. To adjust the camera more smoothly, you can go to speed graph and click click on click on here and go to speed graph. Right, you, you can see two curves. Click on the so two curves are representing that from your from your first key and the next key. So you can adjust the curves and so the movement will be more smooth all right next i'm gonna give a small rotating animation to the phone so it's like something revealing in the settlement so go to scene setup and click on the iphone then right click and give a channel same as again so here i'm gonna again adjust the movement i'm gonna use the speed graph now i'm gonna add the depth of field like a like it's really actual shoot to do that i'm gonna turn on the depth of field so in element 3d we have an indicator that where the focus part and where the defocus part is so and render settings and next depth of field uf mode and select focus indicator as you can see in the red part that's the focus area and the non-red parts are in will be in dft so get that red part where you need to get the focus focus area so now i'm going to do that by adding two keyframes all right so i'm going to continue this same method for the other cameras also After doing all those so now we have we're gonna see how it actually looks like so back to element 3d and depth of field go to DOF mode and select pixel blur 
and adjust the aperture for the focus range also try to try to go with the lens as you are if you are in 35 millimeter how the 35 millimeter will look, going to look like in blur in a focus and how the defocus is going to look like so go through those so by going through those you will get you, you have recorded using actual camera so that's another pro tip for to get make it more cinematic all right i'm going to do more tweaks on the focus distance Now I'm gonna add the lights to be illuminated so to do that I'm going to go to element 3d and in the render settings you can find glow and in glow click enable glow click on enable glow then you have some settings go through those You can see in the display the reflection is very blurred and it's not in the level we want. Again go to the element 3D in the render settings reflection and go to the output settings and add more count to super sampling and analyzing. So those will give more sharp edges, fine reflections, details okay all right so i have seen a background problem so i am seeing still i'm seeing the background uh, so i'm gonna extend the tunnel so i'm gonna duplicate and put it in the back so it will so in the final shot it will see like a it's like an infinity hole full of lights all right so far so good so i'm gonna add uh, a, an extra effect to look look like we are going so fast through the tunnel so i'm gonna put an adjustment layer and uh, radial blur so then all after the tweaks and uh, after the tweaks and uh, i'm gonna turn on the motion blur remember to turn on the motion blur on your layers also then the tip on above all right next i'm gonna add something to the display so I'm gonna create a new composition according to the resolution of the display and I'm gonna animate a, a, a logo 3d tag logo I have created the logo reveal so I'm gonna bring that iPhone display composition into the reveal our main composition all right then I'm gonna go to custom layers and select the iPhone display layer Select on custom textures and again go to scene setup. Control click on the display so it will automatically select the material and go to the diffuse. Then go to the drop down and you can select the texture channel. So now there is no dis no animation, no display is showing. So to do that your diffuse color is on black we have to make it white so it will it only reacts in white so turn the color into white all right now i'm gonna adjust the animation a little bit more and the timing to make it exactly pop up when the turning Alright, so we have our iPhone reveal. So you can do more, more things and more various things. You can get this 3D modeling by going to 3dtal.com, and this 3D iPhone model tunnel thing is available there. So go there and check that out also. And hope you guys enjoyed. Comment your thoughts, what you want next, and and what are the problems you have faced. So see you next time.